Yo, neighbors, Baldy Lots reviews. Leaks, 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 and more leaks. Yo, Joe, June, Yo, Joe, June, 2024. This is the most leaks we've ever gotten before they've even kicked off festivities. Chances are you've seen most of these leaks, and most of them aren't even surprises. We kind of knew all this stuff was coming, whether meme reveals or what was expected. But there are two surprises. One is more of a rumor, but there's definitely a huge surprise with that stinger. Coming up. So unless you've been living under a rock, since last week, we've had nothing but leaks coming out. So it started with, actually, I don't even know who it started with. Nathan Kammer. Uh, Nathan, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. Kammernell? Cam I'll fix it in the details below. Nathan's been credited with the early leaks. Obviously, the full force. If you're not familiar with the full force, check them out. Terry Ruin, the Island Viper. He gave us some details. Everything's matching up so far. He was followed up by the Ruckus which gave us a little detail of a possible rumor. And then over the weekend, we started to see images come in from Weibo. And then today, we got some boxed images from Medic 1849, and then another image of Storm Shadow. So I'll be honest with you, I hate spoilers and leaks as much as the next guy. I like to be surprised, but here we are. And this has got to be the most leaks we've ever gotten before one of the Hasbro Pulse fan streams. So let's go back a few days, and this is one of the first things that we saw was this list that Terry Ruin, the Island Viper, shared, which was shared again via Full Force, and Chaz the Guru, and everyone after. So the Island Viper shared his store list, which included Retro Cobra Commander, Retro Cobra Trooper, Storm Shadow Version 2, Alpine, Iron Grenadier, Iron Grenadier Bat, Mad Marauders, Sergeant Slaughter. I wish they just stuck with Slaughter's Marauders. 60th Anniversary Marine, which if you check out Terry's video, he feels it's going to be a female sniper. Or female. Somebody said sniper. The 60th Anniversary Halo Jumper. And then no surprise with the Cobra Stinger with Driver. And then that was followed up by the Ruckus, who confirmed... Everything that Terry said, but he added, when he placed his order, there were notes that insinuated a hooded Cobra Commander. Now, we're just going to say that's rumor for now, because unless images leak again overnight or until the actual show tomorrow, I imagine we're going to see this new Cobra Commander, which most people are saying it's classic Cobra Commander, just like we got with the Hiss Tank. Probably different accessories, the classic Cobra logo not the Mickey Mouse. But how shocked would you be if we got a hooded Cobra Commander? We all know eventually it's coming and hopefully sooner than later. I mean, I know people are saying we're never getting one. We're going to get one. We're going to get one. So the Cobra Commander image has not leaked as of this video, but we did get the Cobra Trooper, which right away uses the same design or the same mold as the Cobra Island Trooper. Actually, this is infantry. Here's the Cobra Island one. They're basically the same figure. The only difference here is I noticed we're getting the officer head, which is very similar to this. Now, this was my own kit bash. That's probably my dog. But... But instead of the Cobra officer chest, we're getting the infantry chest and we're getting the web gear that comes with Stalker, Retro Carded, Commando, Snake Eyes, and Grunt. So they're reusing it again to give us kind of a classic retro look. I like the blue. This is kind of cool looking. I do like the use of the face mask scarf to give it more of the classic look. But I would have liked more of the red, which was more in the Marvel run. Oh, and when are we getting an all-black trooper? Another kit bash. But how cool would this be? Then we saw leaked pictures of the new Mad Marauders Sergeant Slaughter. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen these, but it is the first time that Sergeant Slaughter himself released a little bit more info where he said the first images that we saw were not what he approved because they were missing his campaign cover. Then we got another picture of him with his hat on, his glasses, and then yet another image that shows off one of the coolest accessories, the itty bitty ditty bag. And if you guys remember that, that's directly from the G.I. Joe movie. An itty bitty ditty bag. Got it! And this bag has USA stamped on the side and looks really cool. It's definitely the thing that entices me to get this second version of Sergeant Slaughter. 
And then finally today, we got to see more pictures that were leaked from Medic 1849 underscore 1849. But before today, people weren't sure what Storm Shadow version 2. We were all thinking it would be Classic version 2. Or would it be the original promotional art from Classified that showed the full arm sleeve and like that Cobra Trooper mask? Well, this confirms we are finally getting a proper version 2. Which, for a lot of people, this was their first Storm Shadow. It was mine. I ended up getting the original one as a hand-me-down, and it was all busted. But this is my original version, too. But then we got another image today where, I don't know who does this promo product shoots for Hasbro, but they keep getting the hood wrong. Unless we're getting the hood wrong. But in this image, they have the hood placed on Storm Shadow. Again, it's not the first time they've done this. But they have it placed on him incorrectly, and he looks like Kenny from South Park. Then we got a nice look at Alpine. For me, I'll go into more details once I actually have Alpine in hand, but he does look really cool. My biggest concern is, where is his glasses? Now, if you look at his hat up here, it's kind of dark. I'm wondering if these are his glasses built into his hat, or if they're hidden away in the new packaging, similar to how we didn't know about Sarge's bag. Then we got a nice look at the Iron Grenadier Trooper, who was badass looking on his own. The Iron Grenadier Bat, which he should not look this good. I've been saying for a while that we're always going to get bats. It's always going to be different color schemes. It's an easy troop builder. It's an easy one to keep re-releasing. You could do it with all the sublines. You could do it for the Dreadnoughts, which there's a custom out there floating around for one of the shows. SoCal Show, this is a cool custom. I mean, eventually, you could get a reprogrammed G.I. Joe bat. Come on, Hasbro. You heard it here first if it comes out. But again, this Iron Grenadier bat, very cool looking. Where is Destro? We're all waiting for Destro. I was really hoping that maybe he would be the SDCC or the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive. We'll have to see. But the biggest surprise for me is the Stinger. Now, I've been saying since we got the vamp that we would see the Stinger, we would see the Mark II, maybe the Sears-exclusive Dreadnought Vamp, which Gun Buddy Customs did a beautiful job kind of recreating and updating. But this thing is future-proofed, and we did get to see the box art of the Stinger, which, again, emulates what we've gotten in the past. Cobra Knight Attack Stinger with Driver. The driver evokes the retro one we all had as kids. But the biggest surprise here for me with the Stinger that no one seems to be talking about is if Terry ordered for his store, if the Ruckus ordered for his store, it's not an exclusive like the Vamp. So most people should be able to get it. It's probably a Famazon exclusive, which means it'll be Fan Channel exclusive, Entertainment Earth. Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, Pulse, GameStop. This should be easily attainable for most collectors. Now, with production being cut, I wouldn't sleep on it. I don't think you're going to get it at Ross on clearance, but it should be easier to get than the Vamp, while not lasting a long time because they're going to reuse the mold for, again, the Mark II, possibly the Dreadnought Vamp, maybe an Iron Grenadier Vamp. I wouldn't sleep on it, but just know that it's not exclusive to Pulse. Or at least that's my guess, and I'm going to double down on it. We'll know more tomorrow. So what are your thoughts? Do you hate the leaks? Do you hate the spoilers like I do? I mean, everybody else is sharing videos. I figure I'd share my opinion. Are you excited? Are you getting the Cobra Trooper? Even with my originals and with my kit bashes, I love the Cobra Trooper. So I'm definitely getting some. Is this a lackluster wave? What do you think of Storm Shadow version 2? Any chance we're getting an official hooded Cobra Commander? I mean, other companies are doing something. And what do you guys think of these new boxes? I like the artwork. I like the digital renders. I am not a fan of these boxes, but I guess we have to live with this for now. I mean, we're still getting Joes. All right, I'm not sure who's actually going to watch this video because it's already been flooded information, but thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Subscribe. Definitely comment. I want to know your thoughts. Take care and go hug somebody. Yo, Nate. Yo, Nate. Splice.